his head to his toes and his shining nose to his great big ears that flop. He's a friend of mine, come rain or shine, that's Mop. Now how about that? There's a friendly cat who can send my mind skew with troubles I've had and but I love the little madam called Smith. Mop and Smith, they are two of a kind. There's no doubt at all they're best of friends Mop and Smith, now then you'd never find So much fun right under the sun Adventure time for everyone Mop and Smith, there's no buts, no ifs about it Mop and Smith are two of a kind The weather is set fair in the village on the hill today, so I'm taking Mop on an extra special trip. Come on, Mop. Oh, you're keen to go today, aren't you? Come on, then. Hello there. Off on a walk? So are we. See ya. Come on, then. Here's a good lad. Come on. Round the back of our cottage, Smith slopes off on her own merry way. She never chooses to come along with us, but that means more for us to talk about when we get home. Come on, then. Oh, you're a slow girl for me, Mr. Bus. Here's the bus now, Mop. Come on, then. We'll be getting on the bus. Come on, up you go. Oof, just the two of us to the lake, please. 13 or 20. There'll be plenty to see from our seat on the bus, and it's a change for Mop not to be walking. He's content to flop on the floor. You're not seeing much out of there, are you, Mop? Eh? I thought you'd be looking out the window. surprise waiting for you and I can see it already and you can't come on then mop goodbye Bye. this is the surprise mop look it's the lake come on then hey I can see you please <laughs> There's plenty going on here, isn't there? Come on, let's have a look at all what's going on around this lake. It's just like the seaside, isn't it? So much is going on today. The perfect place to come and play. Don't you love to be down by the lakeside? The seagulls flying from the coast. But what I love to do the most is sit and watch the ducks down by the lakeside. The water's calm, so why not take a sailing boat across the lake? Give a wave and shout ahoy. Sail across with all the girls and boys. Lots and lots of sailing boats Bobbing gently as they float Don't you love to be down by the lakeside? Close your eyes and you could be On the beach beside the sea It's just as good to be down by the lakeside <coughs> We don't often see as many things on a morning walk as we have today. The ducks, the bus, the boat and the children. But there's another surprise on the road back home.
a vintage car rally across the moors. The drivers have brought their shiny old cars out for their own special trip. And Mop's never seen anything quite like it. I think Mop would like a closer look at the cars. And when we get back to the village on the hill, he gets his chance. Well, look at this. It's one of those cars, Mop. Hello. Oh, can you tell me where the post office is, please? And the post office. Well, we know where that is, don't we, Mop? It's just up the road on the left. Right. OK. Another well, big car, eh, Mop? Look at that. Oh, I didn't think we'd get this close to look at the <laughs> Smith will be wondering where we've got to this morning. It's almost dinner time, but I'm sure Mop and Smith won't mind having twelves it's just for once. There you go. Nice drink of milk for you both. They'll be fast asleep soon. And that's when I'll have the chance to draw the kind of adventure they might have in their dreams. And I think today it should be Smith's turn to make the wish. What kind of wish would you make if all your wishes came true? I wish I had some lovely little kittens. Let's hope it comes true for you. If I had some kittens, Mop, we could take them off for trips. Right to the seaside? Yes, and that reminds me. It's today Mrs Crabtree's going to live at the seaside with her sister. She's moving house. Hey, you know what that means, Smith. No more bowls of milk for you on her back doorstep. And no more biscuits and buttered toast for you, Mop. Yes, we'll certainly miss Mrs Crabtree. Let's go and say goodbye to her, Smith. She might not have packed everything yet. On the way to Mrs Crabtree's, they passed Professor Arkwright's house. He was busy polishing his old sports car. He warned them to keep their paws off it and told them he was getting it ready for a vintage car rally at Sandy Bay. Sandy Bay sounds a really great place, Smith. I wonder what it's like. No use wondering, Mop. I don't suppose we'll ever get to the seaside. When they reached Mrs Crabtree's house, they found her furniture stacked in the back of the removal van. Even her rocking chair was there. Come on, Mop. Let's have a look inside. I don't think we should go in the van, Smith. But we're only looking for Mrs Crabtree, and she's never far from her rocking chair. So they walked up the ramp, but there was no sign of Mrs Crabtree. Hey! What's happening? It's gone dark, Smith. The removal men had finished loading and they didn't realise Mop and Smith were in the van. Now they'd shut the back up, ready for the journey. They can hardly see their own faces. It's a good job they don't mind the dark. They're as quiet as mice as they travel. Not a purr or even a bark. Now they're riding along the road Bumpity 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 bang In the back of the furniture van Where they're going to they don't know Bumpity 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 bang Their adventure has only begun Smith, I think we've stopped Yes, I 
can hear the driver asking the way. Hang on. Let me see if I can... Uh... With a big heave, Mop managed to open the back shutter far enough for them to jump out. It was just in time, because moments later, the van set off again on its journey. Wonder where we are now, Smith? Let's ask in here. The hen house belonged to a crusty old lady called Hilda. And she told them off for not knocking before they came in. Oh, I'm sorry, but we're lost. I'm Smith and this is my friend Mop. Hilda said that, seeing as they barged in anyway, they could make themselves useful. Because she'd laid too many eggs to hatch herself. She asked Smith to sit on six of them for her. And Mop to lie down beside her and keep off the draft. The straw around the eggs was nice and warm, so it wasn't long before they dozed off. But they were woken up by a strange crackling noise. Oh dear, Hilda, I think you've broken all your eggs. No, you haven't, Smith. You've hatched them. Look! <laughs> sure enough, six golden yellow chicks had crept out of their eggs. Smith was really proud she'd been able to help. Hilda was delighted and said that now she'd help them find their way home. She said that if they followed the lane, it would take them into Sandy Bay. And there, they might be able to find a lift back. Did you say Sandy Bay? Come on, Smith. And that's how Mop and Smith got to the seaside after all. They had a wonderful time on the beach and ended up with a gentle stroll along the prom. Hey, Smith. Look at all these old cars. They're a bit like the professors. And there is the professor. Maybe he'll give us a lift home. The professor was rather surprised to see Mop and Smith, but he was in a really good mood. He told them his car had just won first prize as the shiniest one in the rally. And he was delighted to give them a lift home. Well, we nearly got well and truly lost today, Smith. Yes, but our wishes did come true in a way. Well, I, I know we got to the seaside, but I thought you wished for some kittens. Yes, but I hatched out six little chicks all on my own instead. Oh, why? <laughs> what you might call an extraordinary day. <laughs> and now it must be time for dinner. They've had their fun, but they're still fast asleep. So I paint scenes of all their dreams, a picture you can keep. Mop and Smith, they are two of a kind. There's no doubt at all, they're best of friends. Mop and Smith, now then you'd never find. So much fun right under the sun, adventure time for everyone. Mop Smith, there's no buts, no ifs about it. Bob and Smith are two of a kind. They're two of a kind. 